66 teams from 30 different countries have descended on Fiji. I have no clue what to be afraid of. I'm about to find out. To compete in the world's toughest race. The horse is relentless, so every step is a victory. We came here to show the world who we are. To make sure that those people who feel underrepresented feel that they have a voice. I am a tough chick, and I'm proud of that. I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. To do this race with my dad is a priceless experience. <laughs> we wanted to prove that the girls in India are strong and they can achieve anything. This is not a normal adventure race. 671 kilometers, mountains. I don't mind climbing, I mind dying. Jungles. I need help. Rivers. Ocean. Four hours of sleep in four days. And it is brutal. This is so hard. It's the first event to race that they have the feeling of arriving to a limit. We can handle anything that comes. Because we're in it together. This is the closest we ever get to being superheroes. But that's still going. It's a real testament to grit. <laughs> Emma, Albert, greetings from Las Vegas. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Team Summit, Viva España. <laughs> a little, Viva Europe, more Europe because we have Yuka Pinola from Finland. So it's not only a Spanish team. <laughs> uh, well, let's start with you, Emma. How did you hear about the race and how did you apply? In fact, we, we just went in 2002. Uh, it was another name of the team, but um, the team members, most of them were there also. So it's 18 years back again to an Echo Challenge, anyone. So we have been racing for more than 20 years. So it's to coming back to the Echo Challenge and to coming back to Fiji. And Albert, where were you, where were you when you heard you were accepted to this Echo Challenge? When you were accepted to the race? I yeah, I, I, I tried to, to find a team. I didn't know that, that Emma, I, I, I know that Emma was retired and I was looking for a team for an Echo Challenge because I had the spot and I, I couldn't find it, but then Emma contacted me and yeah, I see that was perfect to go with them. And Emma, tell me about the preparations for the race. What kind of training did you do? Well, in general, as, as doing in, in the same training for other races, it means that you have to train the disciplines that they will be there. And these disciplines, the ones that you are not very used, then you have to spend more hours. In our case, in Fiji, or in my case, it was the kamaku, the soup, and the bilibili, I didn't train about that. I didn't train about how to build the, the, these boats, these local boats. And also the canoe out trigger, I didn't also um, practice. But soup a lot, a lot of paddle surf. And, and kayak that we are not very used and then it was my disciplines but in general you have to train 15 20 hours per week running biking uh, climbing doing some uh, skills in different disciplines and also resting because uh, the rest is the silent trainer and albert uh, all all wits were used no technology was allowed on during the race uh, yes, but uh, was nice because it's like how we used to to race only with a compass and the map, and it's it's nice and it's fun and it's natural and and we love it also. And Emma, six hundred and seventy-one kilometers, thirty-one checkpoints, but time is of the essence, isn't it? The clock is ticking. <laughs> you have always. Uh, rush, you are always rushing and it's like, okay, uh, we have to arrive there and then continue and then when we'll be sleeping, when we'll be drinking, when we'll be eating. So it's the logistical stuff that the experience gave us and decide in each in section what to do. But in, especially in Fiji, we didn't know exactly what happened after came one. We didn't know what happened after came two. So you couldn't make... Uh, uh, <laughs> 
an, an approximate, you, you couldn't do, okay, I will do this in, in that day or that, no, no, no. It was the first scan will be in one day and a half. Then let's go what happens. And it was a little stressful compared with other, other adventure races that you have all the maps there from the first day, you have all the sections, you know what it will be there. In Fiji, no. In Fiji, it was a lot of surprises in the middle. Well, Emma, Albert, congratulations on running the race. And it's so exciting. Thank you for talking to me today and uh, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>